This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 667, Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. Here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, uh, hanging out with you guys today. Uh, we got it, it's a it's a monumentous occasion for several reasons. But first of all, as every week, uh, we do have from Beacon, New York. He's the only Mayhemmer uh, with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. Sorg. Things are changing, and I don't know if I like change. You know, the things are changing. Listen, man. In in one week, in one week, we we got a new Mayhemmer, and you got to get a video response from the rookie of the year. That I mean, that, that the second part of that is okay. This first part, not so sure. About. Well, you know, it's got to even so out. Sure. It's got to even out. We're, we're gonna have we're gonna have to put in a poll. A poll. A poll. I thought you were talking about another kind of poll based on the discussion we were having before the show. No, uh, no, those, those polls have to be inserted with consent. Oh, wait, what? I still don't think we're talking about the same thing. No, we're not. Okay, what are you talking about? I was saying we have to put in a poll if our new Mayhemmer is working out or not. After oh, our okay. I'm just saying. Our like, new Mayhemmer, <laughs> official co-host of the show, because he was bored one night on Facebook, uh, with us is Ronnie Starks. Nope, Hello? Sorg. Sorg, I'm, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorg. Proby Starks. Proby Starks. Proby Starks. Already regretting his uh, run on the Wrestling Mayhem <laughs> show right now. <laughs> if I, if is, I'm uh, Mad Mike when I'm not really that if, that much of an angry person, you have to be Proby Starks. Hey, in the words of the dude, that's like your opinion, man. <laughs> Oh. oh boy oh this is already we're off to a great stop yes <laughs> ronnie how you doing this week i'm good how about you Sorgi? all right so 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 you're you're now officially part of the show as a co-host i guess so. we'll see how this goes yeah, let's give it about two weeks give it about two weeks yeah. see what happens okay yeah. all right we'll see how it goes uh <laughs> you've got an audience behind you producer missy's keeping a watchful eye on you back there uh so <laughs> Hello. Uh it, it it'll be it'll be interesting. And also uh, apparently we're we're piloting toy cast before the show a little bit. <laughs> so. oh, I can talk about toys for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> also with us as advertised, the absolute Thomas Mathis, first time on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. What's up, everybody? And of course, uh, we, we've had an interview with you. Uh, you were on the inaugural uh, Bohemian Inv- Invitational before you were uninvited uh, for <laughs> <laughs> custom controls during Super Smash Brothers, I believe, and arguments about Thanksgiving. <laughs> and an eventual banning. I'm yes. no longer allowed to play Smash Bros. here. No, no, no. <laughs> it gets a little too heated. A little <laughs> too heated. Though, thank you for joining us and being on the show. Thank you for having we, me. I know you got a lot of big stuff coming up this weekend. We'll talk about it a little bit later in the show with Black Diamond. So we'll get into that. But in the meantime, hey, you know, hang out, have fun, and let's talk about some wrestling, right? You guys can talk about wrestling with us as well. We're over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form. Look us up on your favorite platform. And you can also ask your Google Home, Amazon Echo, uh, Apple HomePod to play the Wrestling Mayhem Show podcast. Uh, you may have to set up a tune-in app or something depending on what you're on, what you're signed into, and all that kind of stuff too. But it does work and it's kind of fun. Right, Google? Right. Uh, also, you get an email address. Uh, hit, us, hit us up at that email address. Good times. Good times at wrestlingmamshow.com. Now, Ronnie. Hold on, now, hold on. Now, Roby, hold on, Ronnie. Roby. Yes. What the fuck? What do I do? You, you, oh, good times. Oh, there God you go. Okay. Damn it. Sorg. I won't miss the bow diggity thing, though, all right? I'll, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> he was waiting for the much for the bow diggity uh, thing, I right? Was. Uh, Sorg. Sorg. I don't know about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy. It's Anyways, I'm getting fired off at the first day. Uh huh. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll see how that poll goes. Uh, also, uh, you can drop us a line at four one two two zero six WMS zero. Leave a message on the hotline. Listen, nobody picks up that phone. You can you can call it and you can tell us anything you want. Call us when you're drunk. Call us when you're drunk. Put it in your phone. I used to do it all the time. It's great. Yes, you just like put it in your phone and then you label it. Call this when no, drunk. No. You know what? Label it your ex, your last ex's name. Oh, yeah. Do that. Yeah. I mean, and then and you can say, hey, mm-hmm. hey, mm-hmm, um, call, mm-hmm, and then you're talking to us. What? Wow. If if your ex's name is, mm-hmm, I really have some concerns. No, no, that's about like fill in the with. blank. It's fill in the blank with like Siri or Google. Oh. Or that, and then, and then your last name of... Mm, 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 I was going to say... Mm, 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 but very, definitely not... Mm, I was going to say... Mm, mm, sounds very exotic. You know, <laughs> we, could do one of, we could do one of those voice messages like they did for uh, Stranger Things. Where they call and then that no dude spoilers. answers. No spoilers. I didn't get that far in that one. No, uh, no spoilers. <laughs> sorry. sorry. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm fired. Sorg! This <laughs> new guy... <laughs> Well, Fuck it up work, I'm sorry, the Avengers spoiler is on the other show graphic, so I, I don't have that prepared for this. Uh, we were just pulling up an Avengers spoiler, even when we were talking about Lion King. You know when we can talk about Stranger Things. So if you put up Avengers spoilers, ever, nobody will, will wipe, will, they just know to mute it right away, right? That's true. So Hey guys, Mufasa dies. Damn Mother! <laughs> Sorg, Sorg, fire him. Such a jerk. Sorg. <laughs> Fire you can also uh, check us out on the Wrestling and Mayhem Show Facebook group and page. A lot of great discussions happen in the Facebook group. And, of course, we are live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to say we go live at 9 p.m. I'm not going to say we start the show as it's 9.30 Eastern now. But you guys can join and be part of that chat. If you are catching us later or maybe you're catching us on another platform uh, here live on Tuesday nights, please uh, hit up at Mayhem Show if you have any comments or you also want to talk uh, yell at Ronnie Starks for spoiling Lion King for you. Hashtag WMS 676 to continue the conversation about this show. They're flipping down the chat room about that one. You're there. You're fired. No. Long live the king. What the fuck? I haven't seen Lion King yet. (laughs) Be prepared. (laughs) I heard that got cut out. Don't don't get me started. We got shortened. Altered. Shortened. Altered. Shortened. Shortened. Respected. It wasn't respected or saluted. No, I liked it. No, it was bad. <laughs> okay, you're unfired for that one. <laughs> you like the new Lion King? I was fine. I'm going to give it a chance. Simone like... and Pumbaa were the best part about the movie. They were. Aladdin was better. Wait, oh, we're doing it best... again, guys. We're supposed to talk they're... about wrestling. Aladdin and was I'm supposed to go to patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Thank you to our Patreon supporters, such as Bo Diggity. Diggity. Woo! 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 Uh, Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammer Fist at the Poppy Club. Poppy Club. Yes! Poppy Club? Yes! I have infested Sorg! Might have to Finally, this has, been, this has been the long con <laughs> since TakeOver! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pocky Club! Uh, $5 level, our friends Bradley Ruthers, Doc Remedy, Dave Potter, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. At the Pizza Club, $10 level, Ryan Clark at the $13 mark, and our friends Occupy Pro Wrestling. Go check out OccupyProWrestling.com and a new interview on the OPW Park podcast with one heel Bradley. He's a he's not a heel. Well, that's his hash, that's his name on the Twitters. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> that's a shame. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh <laughs> patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show if you want to support the show here. Uh thank you everybody that does do that and join us. Poppy Club. Oh, they're excited about Poppy Club. Get me, get me mayhem. Poppy Club. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm Poppy. Um <laughs> jeez. Oh, Poppy is not in the news this week, but there is a lot of stuff. Hey, she should be. She should be. By the way, that does remind me. Um, there is somebody, a new signing, and I and I realized I have it's not, is it not is it weird I have an autographed picture of her that happens to have a signing this week? Uh Emma is uh going to Tina Dashwood is going to Impact Wrestling. She has a lot of stuff going on. Maybe she'll be the next one to fight Sammy Callahan. Maybe Who she'll knows? be the next one to block me on Twitter. That could be too. That <laughs> seems to be a trend. I'm still trying to get at Josh Matthews about that one. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, no, this, this is something that uh, I believe I believe Billy Johnson got us last year uh, during Absolution when she was up in Cleveland. Uh, so that's awesome. Good for her though. I've I've always liked her. 
Yeah, Emma em- em- was, em- was great in WWE. So wait a minute. So Matt, Matt Mike, like she's been a part of Ring of Honor. Are you are you thinking that Impact Wrestling is a step up now? Um, no. Given who Ring of Honor chooses, to... well, actually, they both choose to associate themselves with terrible people. So it's a sidestep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I. All right. His opinions aside. Um... No, I mean. Content wise, they're probably about the same. Exposure wise, Ring of Honor is probably a little bit better just because they do have Sinclair, mm-hmm. whereas Impact has the Pursuit channel, which I'm pretty sure you can only watch if you have a satellite dish built in 1998 <laughs> and are in five counties in northern. Michigan. Well, well, technically, technically, well, I, I think the fun part about pursuit channels you have to go on the pursuit to find it uh, on your dial. But uh, ooh, dial. That's no, that's but antiquated. no, but you have to have a dish. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, no, that's not a joke. You have to have a dish. Okay, it is an anthem it's network, not... so that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but uh, but but also remember, they are showing these shows on Twitch every Friday night for free. For free. I still don't want to download Twitch. You don't want to download Twitch. Why are you not downloading Twitch? You're a video gamer. No? No? Not oh, doing it? Awkward. No. <laughs> I, I just completely forgot Impact was a thing until you're like, you're like, oh, and the God side. I'm like, to where? And then you're like, to Impact. I was like, oh. Good for them to still be a thing. Yeah. So it's free. It's Friday nights. I don't know what your Friday nights look to look like except for one weekend of the month with Fight Society. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, would you give, now that you know this, would you give Impact a chance? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean they're they're doing they're they're really hot off of the heels of this uh, Sammy Callahan Tessa Blanchard match that just happened on the pay per view. Um, was it a bloodbath? Please tell me it was. A it was bath. pretty violent from the looks of things. Uh, so it, it was a lot. It, it's it was a pretty big deal. I watched it, it. Was and, it and it was the main event of their show too. Yeah, it was a main event of Slammiversary. Cool, that was Slammiversary. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> like a real pay per view. Who's the heavyweight champion over at uh, Impact Wrestling? Wasn't it for the heavyweight champion? No. No. Who's the champion over there right now? I don't know. I, <laughs> Mike, come on. Help me out here. Sorg, I don't watch it. They have me banned. Hold on. Let's see. I, couldn't, this. I couldn't even look up their Twitter and find out. You can go I on there. I thought Twitch. it was Brian Why Cage. Why would you ask? It, I, I thought it was Brian Cage. So you got banned from Impact yeah, Wrestling? Yeah, well, we, they were not good for a while, and he watched it uh, religiously. No, but, no, but for... see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I never tweeted about them on my personal account. I'd only tweet about them on the Mayhem Show account, but they didn't and they Mayhem found Show. me from there and banned my personal account. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Wow. And Matt, Matt, Matt confirmed what I thought. Cage is their champion. Okay, thank you. Uh, I thought that. That seems right. Uh, and uh, Jake Crist is actually their X Division champion. That's a recent one. Um, it, I mean, it, it's, it's every time I look at it, and again, it's just never having a chance to kind of sit down and watch them. Although I kind of want to dedicate to uh, whenever I have those like like rounds when I'm like catching up on my NXT and Ring of Honor um, every couple of weeks, I think I'm going to put like, I'm just going to hit play on the Impact uh, YouTube channel. You know, and get all the highlights because they're 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 pretty good about that. You know, yeah. So. A- Alex, uh, I saw he was an impact. That's why I'm saying they employ terrible people too. Oh, Mike Elgin. Yeah, mm. I don't I don't like him. He's, he's yeah, a, he, he he's like if Enzo and Ryback had a baby. But they got right. Wait. Yeah. They okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, that's weird. Yeah, and it's a strange visual. That's fun to think about. <laughs> what? I, <laughs> you, you have a different visual than I, I have. enjoyed that visualization there. <laughs> and so that's what I provide here. Fusion Ha. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a wrestler right there. I think uh, I, they, I they'd have to align now. their power levels. I think <laughs> I think that's our big question for later. Uh, what two wrestlers would you fusion? <laughs> would you Dragon Ball oh, fusion? Oh, Hold on to that. Again. Hold on to that. Hold on to yes, that. Or, I think we got the yeah. perfect crowd for that today. Pro <laughs> wrestling fusions. <laughs> no, Sorg. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Sorg. Before before we move on to this question, like I know we're not doing it yet. Would it be a Hotara fusion, which is lifetime? Or or a timed fusion for like let's say an Iron Man match. Hmm. Let's, let's say a timed fusion for WrestleMania. Yeah, timed okay. fusion. Okay, so it's the new version of Mayhem Mania. So now, <laughs> who would you fusion together for your Mayhem Show match? So let's imagine that Vince McMahon has unlimited power and he has the ability to grant fusion powers 
uh, upon uh, an individual. Oh, Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Boom. That Boom. Is funny. Just imagine the physicality of Brock Lesnar with the microphone skills of Paul Heyman. <laughs> the look. Oh. What would he look like? It was. It would be. It would be just Brock Lesnar, but with like the baseball cap and the little bit of rat tail on the back. Like, am I, like it's, it's going to be like you know ninety eight ECW Paul Heyman. Oh yeah, we got to hold on to the rest of this for later. Uh, but think about that chat room. Don't say anything until until it's time for the big question here. In, I don't know, forty five minutes at this rate. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at again, like everything. I, every time I peek back into Impact Wrestling, like there's more stuff going on there that that has me like, man, I really need to watch a little bit more Impact Wrestling. See, see also, Sorg, Sorg, you said I could pick the first topic. Yes, and it wouldn't have been Impact Wrestling. <laughs> So, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it out. Uh, to be fair, I don't know what it would have been <laughs> because I never got a cue. I was going to say the first thing that came into my head. It would not have been impact. All right, Mike, what do you want to talk about that's not impact? And go. Trish Strass is coming back at SummerSlam. Okay. To wrestle Charlotte. Okay. Let's talk about it. That's go- <laughs> that's gonna be awesome. Mm-hmm. I love Trish Stratus when I was watching it uh, growing up, I remember it was before like the era of these incredible female athletes. Uh, Trish Stratus was always one that stood out to me. She was always so awesome. And she grew into like a fantastic wrestler, you know, Oh like, yeah. You know, her and Lita were, were great. Or, and even uh, Victoria. Yeah. Uh, uh, Molly know, Holly. Time, Molly Holly. Yeah. Yeah. You remember her? Yes. They're, they're underrated. Remember jazz? <laughs> Jazz was the Jazz. best. She was a beast. So we've had a oh, uh, uh, months ago, I think around the time you were on, we had Rosa Mendez in here, and she was talking about um, you know with injuries, so it kind of uh, shelved her plans. But she was looking to, she was training with Ring of Honor, and she was looking to because she was doing the wrestling in Ohio Valley, came in, and that was like. To, you know, uh, diva search. You know, uh-huh. uh, more models trying to be wrestlers, kind of thing. So she didn't get to do much, mm-hmm. and now she went. You know, wants to say, okay, I want to hang with these girls. You know, and, and see what we can do with them. Yeah. You know, I you think it's like you know people like Trish kind of salivating. I was like, okay, imagine what I could have done with that division. You know. Yeah. You know, she <laughs> as good as Lita and Trish were then, still probably pale in comparison to a Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Bailey today mm. right i mean I, I think across the board but also they didn't have a sasha banks bailey charlotte doing things at train that level. With. Yeah, we, yeah we didn't have shimmer girls coming out you know that 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 were doing just you know the indies the way yeah, that they the, were. the only like old school girl we had back then was ivory that is true yeah. and she came blow and everything like ivory was like the unsung hero of that women's division oh mm-hmm. absolutely absolutely so, so it'll be interesting to see, and and, and uh, man, I I because Trish Trish still looks looks like she's in fantastic shape. Mm-hmm. Cause still a little bit that we've seen, it looks like she can still go, and and try to make anybody look like a million bucks these days, right? Oh, yeah. So she's a beast too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Holy smokes! What a woman! <laughs> Hell of an athlete. Those women, um, female competitors are incredible. They're amazing athletes. They're awesome to watch. For sure. So, holy smokes. <laughs> what? Yeah, Kara. <laughs> I, was, I don't know why I thought that was somebody saying, holy smokes. Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm howling, especially when Alexa Bliss is on the screen. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, okay. All right. My that's, gosh. That's a whole different talk for a whole different time. Okay. okay. If she Ooh. ever talked to me, I would just be like, I, I did get the meter. Turn right? into really? like, I did get the meter. <laughs> uh, yeah, we 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 interviewed when she was still in NXT. Where uh, I was helping um, some local news help. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, Arnold, Arnold Classic. Yeah, the right? Arnold Classic was we we talked for for uh, the local KDKA. We talked to her. We talked to Graves. Uh, Cesaro. Dana Brooke? Wow, that's uh, awesome. No, we didn't talk to Dana Brooke. Okay, we, we talked to Baron okay. Corbin. I wasn't sure if you guys had talked to Dan because I know she was there too. You know what? You, you know how good. Here, I'm realizing we haven't seen him for a couple weeks now. You know how good of a bad guy Baron Corbin is. How good is he? 
He's so nice. He was such a nice guy. I forgot how nice of a guy he was when I met him because I hate him so fucking much now. <laughs> like, <laughs> nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hell you know, yeah. It's just like, wow. Like, that's the same. It's like, he's, it works. That's he's inspiring. so good at what he does, though, man. What's that? He's so good at what he does. He is. He doesn't get enough props for what he is. No, I mean, he, it, so, I mean, everybody's like, you know, Mike, we've had this conversation. We're just kind of tired of him, right? And maybe he has been overused a little bit. But Oh, he's been overused a lot of bit. But but he's still, like, everybody just like, fuck this guy when he walks out, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he, He's so good at being well, unlikable. He, he's one of the few guys that actually does try to play to be a heel. Mm-hmm. Like him, Champa he, he, when he was wrestling, he's not like, interested at all in being the cool heel. Now Champa, no. when he was being the heel, he was still really cool because he was such a heel. <laughs> no, but but Champa still wasn't trying to be cool. No, no, absolutely not. Like Champa, Champa was just diabolical uh-huh. when he was a heel. Like <laughs> the so, stuff, even even like I listened to the interview he did with Edge and Christian. Yeah. And they held off on getting him on, getting on getting him on their show until he was injured because they didn't want to wreck his public persona. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that was amazing to me. Mm-hmm. I, I love that. Like mm-hmm. he was so protective yeah. of him being a heel that he's like, no, I don't want to go on Edge and Christian and talk about like. Uh, how Johnny Gargano is one of my best friends. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like I, I, like now it doesn't matter because I'm injured. So. And, and and this happens, you right, right. And, and you know, we're in this like we kind of know most of us know what wrestling is and everything, right? Uh, and those and that these are personas, but like that was that was good to be what. The way, sorry, Mad Mike. Uh, but it, they played it off the so guy. well that like he moved out because you always saw them in the, in the apartment. They moved in together and they're buddy buddy. Mm-hmm. And then the Twitter just went to I'm not in the apartment anymore. <laughs> you know, like it was like a friend breakup and and mm-hmm. which was really just probably him just getting his own place. And so. like when Gargano turned heel, Chomp was like, I knew you could do it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So everything about it worked so fucking well. I can't wait till he comes back. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. When he comes back and feuds with Adam Cole, it's going to be amazing. Oh, jeez. I'm going to tear the house down with that. Oh, man. Such good stuff happening. Uh, and and we didn't even talk, we talked about Raw last night, of course. Uh, and, and I don't know what's... Uh, we can get some updates from uh, uh, SmackDown as well. But it sounds like it's... Uh, well, Kevin Owens wrestled Drew McIntyre. Ooh. And yeah. Sami Zayn has challenged Aleister Black for SummerSlam. Really? Yeah. Huh. Least yeah, give some Sammy to do because he's not really. Hey, I'm I'm yeah. excited. Sammy's gonna be on SummerSlam. I he didn't came he movie. came out for ten seconds and got jobbed to like Rey Mysterio last night in the gauntlet. So, um, um, I mean, granted, Sammy can come out of SummerSlam. Like he'll skank out to the ring. He'll skank into the ring. Walk right into a black mask, and I'll be over. There you <laughs> go. There you go. Then we've had our moment, right? Yeah. Uh, partner Baron is good, but should not be the main event. Okay. Uh, Champa from Car- uh, Carlin's uh, was the coolest heel. Peak Champa should be uh, the social media template for all other wrestlers. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was good stuff. He should still be the template because he's posting pictures of like his recovery and stuff, mm-hmm. and like, don't worry, Goldie, I'll be with you soon. Like, <laughs> his Instagram is great. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't um, follow him on Instagram. I think let's I need see. To. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, before the breakup, Johnny taking the uh, hanging TV down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now it's AJ versus Kofi, which um, I for a moment you called that uh, tonight because um, it, it was going to be a three on three match, but I think they knocked it down to Kofi versus AJ. It still could be. Yeah, it could be. You never know. It could, like it's starting now. Yeah. You know. Everyone fights in the ring. We go to commercial. Oh, it's a six man tag when we come back. It's a, there's thirteen minutes left in uh, SmackDown as of as I'm looking at my watch and you never know, it could just spill over to two oh five live. You know. <laughs> you be you know what, that's what I want. I want just and we've had like people kind of respond to whatever crazy shit just happened at SmackDown when you tune in the, the beginning of two oh five live. Mm-hmm. But I just want it like it got so crazy at the end of SmackDown. They're still fighting on two oh five live. Mm-hmm. You know, it, like we are so like like the chaos they did Monday night. Uh, with that end sequence, I thought was so fun, and I saw articles just saying, "Oh, they pulled it straight out of the Attitude Era." Yeah, because it fucking worked in the Attitude Era, and mm-hmm. they well, don't do they, they don't well, do that it, enough anymore. 
it's not even that. There were storyline reasons for everyone involved in that brawl. Yeah, remember it wasn't, back- a, it wasn't a brawl for brawl's sake. Mm-hmm. It was Samoa Joe attacking Roman's cousins mm-hmm. because he wanted to get at Roman. And then Roman joined the fray and the Revival were there because the Usos lost the match, which lost them their tag titles. Mm-hmm. And then Cedric came in because reasons. It it all made, I, I think I think it was because Drew McIntyre Drew McIntyre and he was around and 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 he helped out Roman that one week or tried to oh um, he he went at, he went after Roman and then Cedric helped out mm-hmm. to go after Drew so yeah there's there when they had a match and so so like everything like it makes you appreciate having watched the whole show and seeing all the threats right it's yeah, something the attitude, like what worked about the Attitude Era was not the violence mm-hmm. it was not the profanity it was not the sexual content it was if you if there is a segment on raw if there is a person appearing on television they have a story there is a reason for them to be on the television and we're not there yet but we're getting closer Mm -hmm. getting back to it and i thought uh last night was a great step in the right direction and perfect going is in the SummerSlam. uh i it makes me excited I am not dreading Raw coming to Pittsburgh next week, Mike. No, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't <laughs> at this be. point. You know, it actually feels like we're gonna we're gonna get a pretty entertaining show if 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 last night is ending template towards that uh, for the live audience. So between because I was not looking forward to watching two two out of three falls with commercial breaks. Uh, <laughs> you know what you should do, Sorg, though. You should make up bingo cards for local Pittsburgh independents, and whoever fills out bingo first gets a prize. Like by promotion or by? <laughs> no, no, just like a bingo card. Pick twenty-five names that you think might be an extra. Ooh, online. I like that. <laughs> I actually like that. Yeah, yeah, I have the free space. Yeah, have the free. You space. know what? I think we're gonna uh, oh, let's start that in the group. Uh, where, uh, where, what, what twenty-five locals do you think would show up at the Pittsburgh show? And I have no inside information about this, uh, Ronnie. Don't tell me if you're going. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're on the list with WWE, so. I was going to wind up at 205 Live eventually. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, that weight loss is looking good, by the way. Thanks, pal. There you go. Uh, but <laughs> WWE didn't call me. I don't think no. they like me. No. I don't even think they exist, honestly. Listen, if, uh, if I've learned from anything, apparently you can just walk in. Really? And, and you'll end up on the show. Ask the ref. You've heard that story, right? No. What happened? Yeah, he was, he was on one. He was on call for one. Wasn't on call for the next show that came to town. And he still just walked into the arena. Got kind of kicked out. And then got asked to come back because they needed an extra security guy anyway. Nice. So, and he got on the show for the night. I think it was a raw. That happened to Rev. Yeah, that happened to Rev. That's a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think I'll do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all Rev's right. A smart Mathis man. is in the middle of the bingo card, and uh, I'll walk in. I'll kick the door down, and I'll be in gear, and I'll get <laughs> as dry as possible. <laughs> and by that I mean lean, and I'll you know walk up to do. Vince McMahon and I'll give him the absolute. You 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 should bring in a ref with you and say I'm looking for Arch for uh, Maria. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. Because I have no qualms about a match with a pregnant woman because <laughs> wait, technically that's a handicap match. For, wait, for those those that don't know. <laughs> What is the ab- give him the absolute? The absolute. Well, it's a pose that kind of just I don't know where it came from. I just started doing it. Okay. So that's how I know it's meant to be. Um, I, I love to do it. I, so I get up and I, I don't want to move too just much. Do it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, well, you for still it. see me? Yeah, I'm following. There you go. Okay, just yell. Just get up. Raise my arm like this. Twist a little bit. That way you can see the ass. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'll just do that until he says something. <laughs> like, get the hell out of here. Oh, just, I, Who the hell do you think you I are, just knocked, I just knocked out your camera. <laughs> oh. Um, that yeah, that's is, all I'll um, see, because you'll punch me in the face. <laughs> okay, so... That is uncomfortable. <laughs> I seem to be good at making people uncomfortable. Or feeling um, some kind of yeah. way. It also just looks like you had a really good meal. You, <laughs> you call me fat. No, I'm just Uh-oh. saying. It, no, it looked like you were rubbing your tummy after a really good meal. 
It's not a tummy. They're kabump bumps. Kab- what? Kabump bumps. Oh. What's a, what? Well, they make sounds. They have many uses. Can clean stuff with them. <laughs> Ronnie's just losing it right now. <laughs> I clean my gear. <laughs> what? I have a built-in washboard. <laughs> I need something to clean my trunks with. Do you know how sweaty they get? But I'd be careful, though, because then I got to clean the board after I use the board to clean my trunks. It's all connected. And mm-hmm. there's a system to this. <laughs> I, I think you should release it as a three-disc set. <laughs> a three discs. How to clean your trunks if you're Thomas Mathis. Yes. Or if you have abs. <laughs> like me. Anyways, that is a something of a transition to roll into. Reminding you guys, you can see Thomas Mathis, and you can t- see Ronnie Starks in of the in the absolute. My absolute flab. <laughs> <laughs> Over at IndieWrestling.net. No, Network. flab salute. Fla- I was just about to say flab that. Absolute. <laughs> flab salute. That's great. Flab absolute. Ronnie Starks joining us as well here. <laughs> flab absolute. Ronnie. <laughs> Oh boy! All right, your your name is now lo- no longer Proby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Flap Salute. <laughs> oh, oh guys, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first segment. Go to IndieWrestling.network. Oh. Uh, you can see uh, the absolute Thomas Mathis uh, across. Uh, let's see, we we have you on Black Diamond. We have your RWA matches. Uh, one time, I think Ketchup was a. Uh, uh, the dump down your pants by Marshall Gambino. It was mustard. Mustard. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. That was a fun match. <laughs> <laughs> I think it ruined your taste, did it? It did. Yeah. <laughs> Those and then he had to wash them up on the washboard. Zorg. I think it was. <laughs> it, it comes back. It was Gambino's like last match there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was really honored to be a part of that match too. Uh, I would say that's probably one of my better matches at mm-hmm. this point. Had a blast in that. It was painful, but <laughs> it's painful, and you smell like mustard for three days. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. totally worth it. We went to war. Good times, good memories, good go, experience too. Go check that out. Of course, a lot of uh, Ronnie Starks and uh, and the in uh, MT OSHA in there as well from Black Diamond Wrestling. And of course, you can get check out the Fight Society shows on VOD on Indie Wrestling US this week. We have a lot of new stuff. We have a lot of old stuff coming in, too. Uh, we just launched the first episode of Waffles with Women with uh, Jinx and Honey Badger and Katie Arquette. I believe there will be two or three of those episodes, so look out for that. You can check out the first episode. coming In the, in the coming weeks, uh, we'll have some uh, new content from Premier Championship Wrestling up in Cleveland. Uh, the Zero Hour event will be coming up in the next week. Uh, Finding Zach Gowan, the documentary that I, we just had our sixth year in a, a flashback on Facebook of the weekend we went up to shoot most of it. Uh, so that was fun. So that's going to be up there as well as, and listen, I to work with a lot of referees out there. Please go to IndieWrestling.network when uh, we launch Refereeing with one, 101 with Jimmy Corderas. Please watch this thing, if you especially if you work with me on shows. Uh, <laughs> take some notes. It's definitely worthwhile. And there's an interview on there and uh, his seminar from a few years ago. WWE referee and F, I guess, officially, right? Um, uh, WrestleMania main event refereeing Jimmy Corderas. <laughs> I believe it was the Edge and Undertaker match. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, he, I think he talks about it in that interview, too. Uh, it was a joy to, to work with him on that project. That, so much more, and whatever other... I've had at least two more pitches for food items and wrestlers. At least, so far. So we may just make this a thing, you know? Yes. What's that? Yes. Yes? <laughs> well, you got some ideas, too? I'll think of some good You'll stuff. You'll think of some stuff. Yeah. So go check it out. A lot of fun happening over there at IndieWrestling.network. Start your seven-day free trial today. Okay. So, tell Miss Bathis. I think we already kind of caught up with you a little bit. <laughs> 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 so you got a lot going on uh, these days uh, with uh, Black Diamond Wrestling. You have a last man standing match with Beastman. I do. And uh, I've been preparing and working hard for it. Okay. Yeah, I'm planning on going and pushing myself as far as I can. I'm, I'm not going to – I really can't let him beat me. Mm-hmm. I, you know, And considering how far I'm willing to, to go to get this win, it's definitely going to be a match that you, 
you don't want to miss. You did have a scary moment with him a, a few months ago. Uh, you, you, you did have a, a little bit of an injury in a match with him. I believe you were teaming with, it was a handicap match with Zeke Mercer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was me and Zeke against uh, that Stone Age Savage. He's a beast. Um, he had me up in the uh, regular atomic drop position, and he, uh, he chucked me into the post, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't stop myself from making full contact with that post and yeah, just bonk. Um, and I don't remember much. It was absolutely horrific. Yeah. I've heard a lot of, um, a lot of people come up to me and, and just want to make sure that I'm cool and that everything's all right. And mm-hmm. <clears throat> it was really moving and, uh, meant, means a lot. Mm-hmm. It really does. And I love you guys for that. Um, could have been a lot worse. I, I, all I had to deal with was a concussion. Um, but apparently I scared everyone. Yeah. And I feel, um, guilty about that. I, I hope I didn't, um, you know, ruin the flow of the show or, uh, I hope I didn't upset anybody. Uh, um, but regardless, like everybody came to my, the hospital afterwards and it was just so moving, uh, literally my heart melting. Um, I love you guys. It's really a tight brotherhood that we have and it, it just i feel so lucky to be a part of it you guys are the best <laughs> but i'm cool everything's cool now and uh, i'm glad to be back the concussion it threw off the uh intensity of my training mm-hmm. a little bit uh and it's been about five six weeks so um i'm not as lean as i'd like to be um but we'll get back on track surely especially for beast man that's good uh and i think you're you're the main the main match on there uh what else has been going on for you i know you've been wrestling around with bdw uh, a little bit of fight society as well that's right a few matches how are things going since last time we talked um well last time we talked um i i think i was at a point where i hadn't really branched out that mm-hmm. much mm-hmm. uh i had a little bit of experience on the road but uh, i decided that it was time to step out of my comfort zone a little bit um and i'm glad i did because uh i've been collecting a lot of experience um on the road uh up at eppw i've had a great time there um and that's uh what 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 does that stand for that's uh eastern panhandle pro wrestling okay yeah it's in kearneysville west virginia really great place uh really like to be there um I really like that show. I'm really happy to be a part of that show. Uh, and I've, I got to wrestle Bob Evans there. Um, That's brutal Bob Evans with uh, Ring of Honor. Yeah, and Tim Hughes, and, and those guys are so cool. Mm-hmm. And they're so encouraging. And I learned so much from, from working with them. Yeah, seen them a bit of uh, Black Di- both Black Diamond and Rise over the last year or so, and it's always a lot a lot of fun when those guys roll in. I think Roddy, you've worked a few mm-hmm. matches w- uh, involving them as well, right? I love those guys. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, the, the, I think the last one you worked with them mm-hmm. had a, uh, a bouncy house involved. They've been really supportive too. Yeah, because they they'll message me and they'll congratulate me on my weight loss and nice. His uh, Bob doesn't do as much, but his tag partner always messages me all the time. Okay, so. And that's really a, great. And that's actually the first time I got to meet him. I've always seen Brutal Bob before at mm-hmm. other shows, so I, I didn't I didn't know about uh, uh, his partner mm-hmm. uh, there. Uh, well, for, what's their team name again? Tim Hughes. It's yeah, Tim Hughes. Tough Guys Inc. Tough yeah. Guys Inc. Tough that's guy right. Inc. Yeah, Tim's a really so, cool dude. Awesome. Love them both. Mm-hmm. So encouraging. Mm-hmm. Just they elevate you. Mm-hmm. Really great mentors. Great people. Excellent. Good Excellent. experience. So, uh, have you done a Last Man Standing match before? Uh, I have not. Uh, I've watched several. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that this match is going to be physical. It's always physical with Fetty. Uh, he's a real big, strong athlete. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm willing to throw my body around out there. I'm going to have to. That man is huge. And, I mean, I'm a strong athlete as well, but, you know, the size difference... Uh, it really pushes me uh, just bumping him, just getting him to fall over. Uh, it takes a lot. He's, he's real strong. He's got thick, thick legs and uh, we're going to have to work him down. Just try to, uh, you know, it's last man standing. So I'm, 
not going to hesitate to to bash him with that chair. But like the thing that concerns me is like once I bring the chair into the match, it's it's in the match, and he could very well hit me with that. He's got that bone. Uh, he's got powerful moves. Those power bombs of his, they hurt. So well, I also want to point out here. Uh, well, you know, you've been training, trying to work up for him. Uh, it, it looks like he's also been uh, preparing himself. Um, in, in most places, just kind of um, um, keep himself cool, apparently, uh, <laughs> as he's uh, swimming, been swimming in the fountains. I saw that. Apparently. He's an animal. Yeah. He does whatever he wants to do. <laughs> he does not care. I don't care. even know where this is. <laughs> he has no idea what's in that water. No, he's like no. Drinking it and, and now whoever jumps, whatever kid jumps in that water has no idea that he was in it. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, there was just a fountain in the middle and it looked like a, looked like some kind of festival or something, right? But also, strangely, why is nobody near the fountain? There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. And he seemed like the only one that was brave enough to do it. I think he saw somebody just scoop up their kid and said, oh, no, this isn't happening. <laughs> um, so there's that. There's that. Mm. All right. Mathis, Thomas Mathis, the absolute Thomas Mathis. He is going to be at Black Diamond Wrestling this Sunday, Benwood, West Virginia. Go look up Black Diamond Universe on Facebook. Uh, and we'll probably have that linked as well. In the show notes and everything too for more information. Uh, I'll be there. We'll be filming, of course, for the Indie Wrestling Network, and uh, but definitely uh, something worth probably seeing in person. Uh, something like this is probably going to be pretty nuts. And I don't know if I'll be able to get. I don't know. I've had some close calls with Beastman matches. <laughs> okay, like and and at Black Diamond, uh, there have been several weapons that have been chucked my way. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so he, he's a beast. It's uh, it gets pretty wild out there. So. Um, uh, I don't think looking forward to that, looking forward to surviving that is more appropriate, probably, uh, <laughs> for for that situation. So, I mean, at least you're on the show. You know, I wasn't even booked on the show, <laughs> so I'm like Dennis Stamp. I'm not booked, Terry. I'm not booked. Oh no. Yeah. But you, but you're a recent champion. It's a spot show title, man. It doesn't <laughs> matter. You gotta get on the trampoline. Go to get on the. I'll do. Uh, I'll do a little. Uh, Vignettes. Mm-hmm. I'll do. There's no easy way out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we need a montage. Yeah. Yes, we do. It's like he's the he's a stronger, slicky, sleeker, faster. Working on his absolute pose. Do you, do you <laughs> want to be in the montages? You can. You train me for the montage. Oh yeah, yeah I'd love to. That'd be great. <laughs> I can be the model that you're aspiring to be <laughs> someday. I'm someday. Kidding. One day. One day. I love you, Ronnie. Push it. Too, push it so you can look like this. <laughs> <laughs> You'll dangle a piece of pizza in front of me and I'll run the treadmill. <laughs> There's no easy way out. Dun, dun, the best around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. A lot of fun going on. Uh, guys, if you're in the area and you're not trying to look like Thomas Mathis, actually, take that back. They have delicious salads over there. Our friends at Slice on Broadway, SliceOnBroadway.com, here at Beachview, Carnegie, uh, PA, the East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Go check them out. We're supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. And once again, I know several of you out there are in the Northwest, in California, in Kansas City. They're listening in the chat room right now. And I know Slice on Broadway is only in the greater Pittsburgh area. Uh, in the great Pittsburgh area. And... Um, you know that's why we want to help with their global expansion wherever you may be you probably have a broadway avenue in your town and if you have that take a picture and tweet pgh underscore slice on the twitter and then you can uh let them know that you want to slice on your broadway right ronnie i got this ready you got this ah there it goes Oh, that's why that's why Tuesday sheet days for you. It is. <laughs> so next week we're gonna get tacos. You're gonna yeah, that's right. You're you're taunting you're taunting Mathis with that. I can't believe I just saw you eat that. Mm-hmm. You like it, don't you? You should be dis- <laughs> ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> How can you be sitting there eating that when I you would've... know that your abs aren't off the bar? I'm the, I'm the flop salute, Ronnie Stark. <laughs> Go check them out, SliceOnBroadway.com. We'll be back with a big question that we all already let you guys know about after this message. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. It's totally fascinating. It is. It's, it, it's, uh, it's uh, from the people that brought you, but with it, more badass it's people. Like, it's like the fantastic 
beasts and where to find Samoans. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's that's good. That's really good, actually. Um, we should make up movie titles of wrestlers. By the way, can I ask a question? Because I have not seen this. I, I, Sorg, I think that's the next segment on the show. Can I ask a little question before I ask a big question? Okay, yes. I want to ask a little question because I have wrestlers here, and this is a wrestler question. Oh, okay. Well, fuck you then. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. okay. If you know the answer, please chime in. I don't feel excluded at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You're outnumbered. Sorry, I am the logger champion. You are like the logger gaining. champion. <laughs> Defending. Technically, technically, everybody on this show kind of works in the business. Technically. And yeah. technically, Mike is further along than any of us in our careers. Aha. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyways, um, so apparently wrestling Twitter is all about White Claw. Yeah. No, I hear. What is up with what? Is it a beer? Okay. I'm about to ask what the deal is. I, all right. Hold on. I only I know this because Matt Carlin's is asking me about it. I can only I tell you. White Claw, I have White Claw downstairs. You do have White Claw downstairs. This is a I thing. do. So is the beer. Uh, it's what, sorry, the reason wrestlers drink White Claw mm-hmm. is because when you're drinking White Claws, there are no laws. What? So you can do whatever you want. Because well, I guarantee whoever knocked that scaffolding on Roman Reigns was drinking a was White Claw. Was drinking a White Claw while they were doing Wait, it. Wait, so you're telling me whatever crazy shit happens in wrestling, we can now blame on White Claw? Yep. So you're saying I could show up at Rise drinking a White Claw and get away with being on the show? Yep. Mm. I'm fucking doing it. What is he doing here? No, oh. It's, it's like, oh, he's it's, just drinking it's, White Claw. It's all right, Marcus. Or, it's, it's like <laughs> an impact for a solid month was obsessed with smearing off ice. What? Without being sponsored by it. This oh, happened? Smearing off ice. Wow. Do you not remember this? No. Fortune used to ice each other in promos. Oh. It's like that. It's like that how Tech Nine just talks about Caribou Lou and is just waiting for the sponsorship. You're saying words and I don't know what so, they are. Hot ice, the best of both worlds? Uh no, no. Hot ice is terrible. What's hot ice? You heat up the ice cubes. It's the best of both worlds. I know. I it's know. also water. Don't no, ruin sorry, the illusion. Sorry. Sorry. It's from Anchorman. Oh. It's not from Anchorman. I know it's not from Anchorman. It's from that was Rookie test. of the Year, the movie I'm going to buy test. you when you come that over here to Pittsburgh. Test. That was a test, Proby. I know what's happening. Yes. I get that reference. Yeah, it was, it was Daniel Stern. Right. All right. So, uh, uh, Thomas Mathis, do you have any opinions on White Claw? Well, it sounds like it gives you an excuse to act a fool, mm-hmm. which sounds it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, it's beer. Um, it is a hard seltzer. Oh yeah, I don't get to drink alcohol. So no carbs. Well, alcohol no is carbs. just a very destructive, um like a uh, thing to do to yourself and uh i i i uh it it causes a lot of i i just don't like to go backwards um mm-hmm. and maybe it's a little obsessive of me maybe it's a little boring uh, you, you, know. you live a clean lifestyle that's fine well yeah, not necessarily cool. because i do smoke cigars sometimes <laughs> oh you, okay i thought you're gonna be like well i do occasionally smoke the doobie or what <laughs> <laughs> i occasionally smoke that, crack that, you know <laughs> I don't want to touch that. I shoot that heroin up between my toes. <laughs> it sucks. Like uh, a lot of people don't realize how um, different I actually have to um, live to maintain uh, the body that I have. Um, like I don't get to eat out. Uh, I don't get to drink alcohol, um, sugar, pizza. Like. You were just eating the pizza. I really don't get that stuff. That was um, the first pizza of pizza I've had in weeks, bro. Really <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Like, I'm playing. It was a weak no, moment. Am, no. It was a weak moment. Uh, slice of Broadway. It was very good, though. Yeah, a lot of people. Um, it seems to like uh, some people ask me questions about it, and, and people at the gym even like. Mm-hmm. Uh, I work out at a, a really like gridiron place, a real old school gym uh serious place it's not like an la fitness or a uh uh a casual place yeah or a planet fitness no way uh, well, at least there i can eat pizza yeah well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah judgment free zone <laughs> um yeah, my, my plan fitness actually used to order pizzas 
<laughs> that's not a joke. Oh, I know it's real. I've seen it yeah. firsthand. We were talking about that before the the uh, show began. It's like they leave stuff out for you. It's like, oh, there goes your workout. Mm-hmm. It's really easy to replace the carbs that you burn or the calories that you burn off. But uh, yeah, there are guys at my gym who who ask me like, why do you work out so hard? And it's weird coming from them because they're like real big guys. You know, they're probably on some gas. Uh, definitely on some gas. Uh, and they are just like, why are you working out so hard? And so then I, I tell them that, you know, I have this vision and now I have this character that uh, I want to try and, and be uh, for sure. And yeah. if I don't have abs, I mean, it's just not going to work out. You'd be the flab absolute. Yeah, I'll you're be the flab absolute. I'll hey, be flab absolute. Hey, man, if you ever have, if, if, if things happen and you have to turn that corner in your career, you have that ready made for you, right? No, no fuck so. you. I'm making that t shirt. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who Anyways, knows? let's go back to the big question then. Thank you for entertaining my little questions. So this has been <laughs> a thing. And hopefully that's helped Matt Carlin's out a little bit because he's been asking me about it. And I was like, dude. I only know I've seen several wrestlers drinking White Claw Saturday night, and that's that's about it. It's uh, delicious. It's, it's delicious. There you go. Uh, man, there is raining cats and dogs here, so we should probably show uh, before the uh, uh, power goes out or something, I guess. Uh, so, anyways, it is the big question, and let's go with that thing we gave you about a half an hour to uh, think about. If you would Dragon Ball Z fusion two wrestlers, let's say for WrestleMania, who would they be? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. This is going to be fun. And then the Macron is going to hate this because it's completely going to be a new um, Patreon in the Bank segment on, uh, on Mayhem. <laughs> and, 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 then, and then Garza is going to have to make photoshops of all this stuff. Uh, so, uh, so who would you fusion? Uh, well, we've already said Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar, so that's out. I would fusion Ricochet and Alistair Black. Ooh, Rick, Rick, a, Rick, a, Rick, a black, Rick, Rick, black. Can you say that? Blackache, blackache. Oh, I don't think blackache. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just. I don't it's just easier black. to work off. Can we just call him the Black Mass? <laughs> okay, yeah. let's go with that. Let's go with that. Oh, that's only. That's only if the power is not aligned. Hummy, <laughs> hummy, ha! Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, what about you, Mike? Oh. Shit, I used my good one already. Um, you know, you need a minute. You know what? You know what? Let's make the most iconic women's wrestler, Peyton and Billy. Ooh, oh, it'll be like like super Australian and unintelligible. <laughs> and I would love every second of it. <laughs> yeah. Billy Royce or Billy Peyton. Royce. Okay, all right, and yeah. of course, all of you guys have to visualize all these. Uh, I'm going with Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Oh mm. boy! And then the street profits are going to go nuts over that one. Yeah, we got one. The new day, like all three of them. Does that work on fusions? I don't know my Dragon Ball enough. Is there, uh, is there a three way fusion, or are we just going to break that rule for this? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, what do you I think, mean, Matt? They, this, did you know? do, they did do an intro at WrestleMania one year, all dressed as Vegeta. So they did. Know? They did. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it, I think if you had, like, let's say Kofi's still champion, mm-hmm. you had Biggie and Woods fuse first, mm-hmm. and then because Kofi is older and more experienced, he'd have a higher power level. Okay, he'd fuse with that fusion. So first way we'd have, b- fir- so first of all we fuse uh, Big Woods. Yep, Big Woods, and then, um, and then. And- and then, and then, Kofi Woods, Kofi Kof, Woods, both E Woods, both E Woods, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I mean, of course, we're also also forgetting the obvious one because they did the actual pose of the bar, Cesaro and Sheamus. Oh God, yeah, mm-hmm. true. So, uh, what are you about? I'm pretty sure that would just be Broly. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. If I could fuse uh, two people uh, together, hmm. two two wrestlers. Hmm. How about let's fuse Braun Strowman. And well, let's make the ultimate monster. Oh, uh, let's do Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. Ooh. Now that's Broly. Whoa. I think I yeah. would just look at them and then you'd hear all you'd hear is a fart noise. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would just throw me like through a truck or like through a wall uh-huh. or through a wall and then through a truck. 
Whew. Okay. That'd be a big dude. Real so, big dude. So it basically just be be brawn, but with like the muscle mass. He would just be. He would have muscles on top of his muscles, and mm. he would make me look like a little toothpick. But that, you know what? I would still stand up to that guy. It you would, would. You would die. Uh, it would be painful <laughs> death. Raw uh, Bobby. Can can he be? Can we? Can he be managed by a returning Leo Rush that we join with Drake Maverick? <laughs> oh my God! Yes. Um, what, if, what if Drake Maverick and Hornswoggle did the fusion dance? <laughs> <laughs> and then our truth would have been right this whole time. Mm-hmm. Oh by boy! By the way, come on, this is why the fuck was Hornswoggle not at Raw reunion? Mm-hmm. Because he had a booking. Like, because he had a booking at AIW. I really doubt that. Like what? We've been doing that gimmick for months. Mm-hmm. And like, and you do it. Hornswoggle shows up, and Archer's like, "Oh, hey, Drake, how you doing?" Like, he completely confuses them. Mm-hmm. All right, from the chat room, we got Awesome Kong and Jordan Grace. Yes, total mm-hmm. power from uh, Dave Partner. We got Ricochet and Rollins from uh, Brandon. Also, Ricochet and Nakamura. He's just basically joining everything with Ricochet. Listen, Ricochet is your base. Where do you go from there? Uh, oh, so. I mean, if Ricochet is the base, I I would take uh, Brian Cage. Oof. Oof. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, that's a Lucha Underground feud. Like, Brian Cage moves like he ate Ricochet and absorbed his powers. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary. It's scary. Um still remember rob talking with him and like in first like sentence just like whatever responses i'm getting my head ripped off and and then you know yeah nice guy but uh yeah i'd be afraid too <laughs> so he had him against um he just signed with impact a little he's been doing stuff with impact uh he's the fresh prince of midair uh and i can't remember the rest of his name i know i know dutter's interviewed him uh at one of the lower weight shows but um not trey lamar that's an iron guy i'll remember it later uh anyways Hey guys, we do a lot of stuff here. Professional wrestling, sporting events, music videos, conferences. And that's with Sidekick Media Services that's hiding in the back here of Sorgatron Media Studios. Uh, so I, we do a lot of stuff there. Of course, you know, the bases, we do a lot of this. You see us stream every week, but we're also helping stream a lot of other events, including a Fight Society streaming over on Facebook lately. Hey, uh, I work there. All right. Hey, hey. you ready for your Facebook debut? I am ready for my Facebook <laughs> debut. Let's do it. Uh, well, other than right now, because you're on Facebook right now. My other Facebook. We debut. basically stream everything around here. I know. Yeah. Yes. Everything. Uh, everything. Ev- everything. Yes. <laughs> uh, anyways, what? there's a point to this. Oh yeah, sidekickmediaservices.com. Go find out more uh, as a sidekick to your superhero project what next big thing can we help you with um <laughs> jeez have you guys seen what dean ambrose has been up to not dean ambrose whatever his name is now jonathan John Moxley. uh he has been apparently tearing through the g1 and being hilarious in the meantime um i need to catch up on my access <laughs> uh new japan apparently um but uh and, and of course uh, Matt Carlin is out there. He's been keeping up on that when he's not watching us uh, on his Tuesday mornings. Uh, so a lot of interesting stuff going on there. Um, also, have you seen Randy Orton's uh, social media lately? No, but Poughkeepsie, I heard he's really Poughkeepsie, savage Poughkeepsie on social media. Poughkeepsie people are crazy. He is savage. What's that? Poughkeepsie people are crazy, Sorg. Wait, what happened to Poughkeepsie <laughs> people? He's married to a Poughkeepsie woman. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it explains a lot. That explains a lot. Okay. Uh, no, there was... So, like, we, we, we pulled up... There was actually an article about how everybody should follow uh, Randy Orton. Uh, like, not only that, he's just, like, hilarious and dancing. It's a happy Randy Orton on social media. When he's not well, terrible. Yeah. Sorg, that's because he gets paid to sit at home a lot. <laughs> And be on the beach and hold his uh on and hold his uh kid up like the Lion King. Yeah, like he he has the the part time contract. Mm-hmm. Is that like, official? When was the last time you really saw him? Besides besides the SummerSlam push, uh huh, he hasn't been around. Okay, so they're just kind of 
<laughs> just, yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff. Um, yeah. We we do need to talk about what Brandon brought up in the chat room. Though. What's that? The new WrestleFest game. Yeah, so this is a game. Uh, it was a Retro Pro Wrestling. Mm-hmm. And I think so, yeah. it, it did get announced because we I started following it a little bit ago. Uh, because the stuff just looked cool, and they're getting like Tommy Dreamer and the Blue Meanie and stuff like that. Cole Cabana. Cole Cabana is a part of it. so a lot of newer guys. But again, it's 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 um. I'll I'll bring up the thing and I'll read out the whole deal. Yeah, but yeah it uh, it's coming to Nintendo Switch, mm-hmm. which is freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that there's a wrestling game that's going to come to um nintendo switch and mm-hmm. it's not done by wwe mm-hmm. that is ridiculous like that is insane oh it's not retro fest it's something else let me see uh but yeah they have like um the road warriors are gonna be in it yeah that's cool i think it's retro mania wrestling yeah retro mania okay i knew retro was in it somewhere yeah, Tommy Dreamer is a part of that. Uh, Cole Cabana, like you said. Uh, Road Warriors. Hold on, I'm pulling up this article now. Uh, the Blue World Order is going nice. to be in it. Uh, mm-hmm. So, like, a nice, again, a I lot believe of, that Zack Saber Jr. too. Austin Idol is in this. There's some deep cuts. Zack Saber Jr. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. So, I. I normally don't buy indie games like that. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna have to buy it so, just to support it. This is the kind of thing I love. WrestleFest. Uh, actually, Dutters sent me a picture of uh, uh, the WrestleFest that's over at Replay because she's helping for setup. And also sad that you take a picture of it and uh, there's 12 wrestlers in the game and half of them have passed. Um, but uh, but but I love those games. I picked up the one when it was on the iPad. You know, back in the day when you get like Cool Command. I bought everything and now I can't re-download it anymore. That sucks because uh, it was it was when THQ went under. So they pulled everything off. You can't even get those. Um, no, that is that is pretty cool. Uh, so it makes me wish I had a Switch. Mike, I might have to step up and get one. Uh, um, yeah. Yes, you should. I'm, I'm kind of hoping they come out for other platforms in the meantime. You know, even if it is a PC. Like, yeah. uh, Fire Pro- oh, okay. Hold on. Sorry. I got, I got more details on it. Mm-hmm. Um, at launch, they're going to have 12 to 16 unique, distinct playable wrestlers, mm-hmm. and they're going to add more via DLC. Mm-hmm. Two to eight player local multiplayer. Whoa. Yeah. Two to eight player multiplayer. Uh, they're going to have one on one matches, tag team matches, battle royal, ring entrances with music, multiple nice. entrance attires Jeez. for each wrestler. Um, and there's going to be play? there's going to be a House of Hardcore Arena and House of Hardcore Television Championship. Nice. Yep, as part of and this. Uh, crowd chants that react to action on screen. Ooh, that's cool. Like between this and uh, um, uh, Chikara's game is pretty cool. They had a they had a playable demo of it when they were in town um, a few months ago for a show. And uh, it's it's again a very arcadey game, and, you know, a lot of fun to play. Um, it's being put together by two people though, so it's taking some time. Uh, so I've been it, following that. You can actually it's, down- all, it's also going to be on Steam. The, uh, the Retromania. Yes. Oh, then we are definitely getting it. It's also going to be on Steam, and it looks like they're seeking approval for PS4 and Xbox One. Oh boy. That's awesome. I, I think just Nintendo was the first one for them to announce, right? Yeah. So because it is not easy to get on a Nintendo platform, we know some some indie developers that, uh, and that developed. means it's probably going to be pretty clean too. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. And imagine if they're putting it on a platform like that. Mm-hmm. So looking for it, and they're basically copying a style off of WrestleFest. I mean, that is a pretty straightforward arcade style. It's probably not going to be too deep of gameplay, but but just kind of fun so it's like 16 bit or yeah it's like it's kind of like that 16 bit era kind of oh, it's so awesome. kind of graphics and everything so um it's like should... fire pro wrestling i love fire well, it's, it's, it, 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 the graphics are more wrestle fest yeah situated it looks like so so it's it's um like fire pro wrestling and i was like oh this is cool and all the people you know, like you know wrestlers i know have been made for this and stuff mm-hmm. um but i couldn't get into the gameplay it was like a little too much for me mm-hmm. Right, it, it wasn't enjoyable. To, we played it. Well, I also the first thing is I sat down with Carlin's with it, and uh, uh, it, it defaulted to Japanese. 
Uh, so we tried playing a game. We couldn't figure out how to un, you know, turn into English. That's awesome. Uh, and uh, and uh, you know, it's like it's, it's just like signing up for New, New Japan World a couple of years ago, right? Like you had to have a guide to find the right buttons to sign up because it was still in Japanese. <laughs> um, but so it was like the full experience. Um, but we ended up in like an exploding C four match with like four other people, <laughs> and it was. Like, which is like, what do we do? What's happening? <laughs> you know, it's like, how do I pin? You know, it was, it was, I don't know if that was the prime experience for that game, mm-hmm. but uh, it was, it was an experience. That's for sure. Uh, so I'll be interested to look out, look, for, look out for that. You can find more information at retromania wrestling.com uh, for that. So that's cool. There was, there was an era of power pro wrestling that came out on PS4 not too long ago. I believe so, yeah. And that, that one was looking pretty good. I, I love that there are these alternate uh, products coming out. Like, I, I, I still want them to bring back Jeff, Def Jam Vendetta. Jeff, Def Jam Vendetta. Uh, give oh, me a okay. Legends of Wrestling game that's playable. Oh, um, that game was terrible. Yeah, yeah. I was this close to picking up a copy of it. I'm like, I'm not going to like playing I still it have it. Good. You still have it? What, what platform just, do you have it for? Mm, I'd have to think. You don't even know which which one you yeah. have it for. Like, GameCube, probably. GameCube, yeah. I figured that's the one I would grab. Um, like it, it just it just feels like it should be part of the collection. Basically, the graphics were like. Remember the ECW games on PlayStation? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it was THQ. Didn't THQ? Make no, that was, yeah. that, no was that, that was a claim. That was a claim. That was a claim. Yeah. Those games were from a claim. Then those mm-hmm. Legends of Wrestling. They were. They and were, they were yeah. garbage. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I I just like being able to body slam Andrea Giant over and over and over again. <laughs> <because> they <laughs> they did not have a weight detection because system. Because of course you <laughs> would. Don't forget about wrestling Andy Kaufman. Yeah. Oh was yeah. That in there. Yeah, Andy Kaufman. No was way. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't uh, by he, the way, was he in the sequel though? Uh, I don't know if it was or not because you can there play were. from. You had like play from seven or sixties wrestling to seventies wrestling to eighties wrestling yeah. to modern wrestling, and it was just you go to these different eras. Yeah. It was create a wrestler mode, so you create your own wrestler and you just went through this whole system. That seems like worth at least checking out, right? Now at least now watch some gameplay at- on uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking to see who the uh, who the rosters were. Mm. There were three of them, I believe. No, I think there were only two. There was uh, Bruce the Barber Beefcake was in there. Or, um, Jake Snake was on there. Hulk Hogan was in there one year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hulk Hogan was in there. I think where he when he was on the outs with uh, WWE for a little Big bit. Warrior was in there too. What was there? Let's see. First one. There was a third one. It was showdown. Roster: Rob Van Dam, Bret Hart, Hulk Hogan, Terry Funk, Jimmy Snuka, Jerry Lawler, Road Warriors, and Jimmy Hart. Wow. Yeah. Let's see. Legends of Wrestling. Two. I'm going. Um, oh, oh, a third one was planned but was canceled. Okay, Legends of Wrestling two had a lot had a bigger roster. They had mm-hmm. Abdul the Butcher, Andre the Giant, Andy Kaufman, Bam Bam Bigelow, Baron Von Ratchke, Big John Studd, Bob Backlund, Bobby Heenan, British Bulldog, Sam Bruno, uh, Nasty it's, it's Boys. Like, it sounds like a game you want to play. It's it basically it's basically yeah. the WWE Hall of Fame. Yeah, now. Uh, Dr. Destiny Williams, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Killer Kowalski, Mill Mascaris, Paul Orndorff, Owen Hart, uh, Rocky wow. Johnson, Roddy Piper, how Steiner they, Brothers. How did they get that Owen Hart deal? Probably through Jeez. Brett. Jeez. Probably through Brett. Yeah, because he was uh, part of Steiner those. Brothers, Sid Vicious, Grand Wizard, and Eddie Guerrero. Um, I, I misspoke. The The third one, um, um, Showdown Legends of Wrestling, uh, actually was, was released. Uh, they just canceled the GameCube version, but they, there's a oh, PS2 okay. and Xbox. Oh, I gotta find those. <laughs> so I've never seen a copy of the Showdown. That must be like a pretty light one. So oh, it, was, um, it was probably towards the end of a claim. Oh yeah, I'll go to the exchange and see if I can find these. There things. you go. There they you have you to go. exist. Oh yeah, they're out there. Oh yeah, they're out there. I know I've seen them in some of those stores, but yeah, I love the exchange. Yeah, love those. Anyways, hey, want to give uh, a, you know, you know, there's a lot of pro wrestling in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, there right. is. Yeah. Uh, and you can check out a lot of it at pittsburghwrestling.com. Find out there's a calendar on there. So you can, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, you can plan your month accordingly around pro wrestling. Because there's quite literally, I think there are two weekends before the end of 2019 that do not currently have pro wrestling scheduled within an hour of Pittsburgh. That's crazy, isn't it? It's insane. Yeah. Insane. 
Not to mention the Ring of Honors and the Raws and the NXTs that come to town. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a ton of stuff going on. Uh, Northeast Wrestling is going to be here Friday for a, a special Bruno Foundation show with Corey Graves and Chad Gable just yeah. got announced for that thing. Uh, Rise Wrestling is going to be Saturday night. Um, a lot of fun stuff going on there. A, a five-on-five elimination tag. And not to mention, not even on the calendar is Ron Mathis going to be against Last Man Standing at Be- Beast Man in Black Diamond Wrestling. Oh, did you just call me Ron Mathis? What did I say? Oh, I just <laughs> edited a match with Ron Mathis. It's I'm okay. so sorry. Oh, don't worry about Thomas it, Thomas Mathis. M- me and Ron Mathis, are we We both agreed that we were actually cousins. So. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. There you go. Thank you for that. I love Ron Mathis. He's a really good guy. <laughs> yeah, just had a great four-way uh, 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 match to open uh, Revenge Pro yeah. on Saturday night. Yeah, I look up to him a lot, and he's really cool. I've bumped mm-hmm. into him several times out there on the nice. road yeah nice it's awkward when you get booked on the same show <laughs> <laughs> you guys be a tight team Call yeah the absolute that would be tons of fun especially because we're so uh like polar opposite mm-hmm. yeah that'd be interesting to see what would come of that um also <laughs> on there we, we try to put any anytime uh, uh local pro wrestling's in the news uh we we put that on there as well most recently uh today we we're watching the Special that WBOY, I think that's a, a town in Virginia, is it Charleston, Virginia, West Virginia, or something? Um, but they did a special that came to Rise Wrestling with a Y, and they had a feature around uh, women's wrestling, intergender wrestling, involving uh, uh, interviews with uh, Laura Loveless mostly, uh, Kelly Klein of Ring of, Ring of Honor, uh, Brandon Kay, and the CPA is actually a part of that as well. And you probably notice a, a couple of you fans listening actually, I think, made it into that uh, too. So uh, go check that out. That's linked. Go over to PittsburghWrestling.com to find out. It's my answer for how many people, when I say, oh, yeah, I do stuff with wrestling, they're like, there's wrestling in Pittsburgh? It's like, yes. (laughs) Big yes, Mm -hmm. basically. And this is where you can find out uh, what's going on over there. So, guys, it's time of the week. Uh, And the storm has finally passed, it looks like. Uh, So I don't have to send you guys out into the death storm on the way home, thankfully. Uh, But there's a flash flood warning, so watch out for that. I just got on every device in the studio. Uh, What did you learn from pro wrestling this week, Mad Mike? What did I learn? Oh, um, I learned that the Canellises are the first married couple to hold the same championship. Okay. Ever. Okay. Ever in, in pro wrestling history. Wow. That's. That's. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Also first pregnant champ. Yep. Hashtag <laughs> first. Well, it was funny. I, um. Oh, I forget whose Twitter feed it was. Um, but it was a former writer of WWE. They tweeted out, I had to go back and check and see if Mae Young won the hardcore championship while she was pregnant with the hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing I had to do. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, it turns out she wasn't. So Maria is the first pregnant champion. Mm-hmm. All right. What about you, Ronnie? What did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned all you gotta do is drink some White Claw, and I can go wherever the fuck I want. There you go. <laughs> look, look for Ronnie Starks on every show in the Pittsburgh area in the coming month. <laughs> Guess who's getting blackballed? <laughs> It'll be the guy with the cap on that has two cans of White Claw and straws sticking in his mouth. There I'll do it, man. There Don't think go. I won't. Double, double, go anywhere you want. Just call, he'll just make the WCW sign. You'll be White Claw wasted. <laughs> Uh, Thomas Mathis, <laughs> what did you absolutely learn hmm. from wrestling this week? Hmm. I'm always learning so much. Um, is this maybe a silly question, but is this about like in ring? Whatever. Yeah. What, did, what life lesson from the week did you learn from wrestling? Yeah. You know, wrestling has been really, uh, humbling, uh, for sure. Um, it, uh, it's been a crazy test of patience. Um, it's been uh, a, an amazing device for personal development, for sure. And uh, it teaches you a lot about uh, life, and it teaches you a lot about yourself. And um, it's really made me a better person. Um, and I learn something new about myself every day. And uh, 
I'm grateful that I'm in this business. Uh, I learned that White Claw is a <laughs> dangerous thing. <laughs> And that I should never touch it ever because that would probably be really bad. And it's about to get Ronnie in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Articles of clothing claw. would be removed. Drink the white claw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ballistic. Yeah. Fuck yeah. some shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie's new finisher is going to be the white claw. I'll be in every indie show in the next two weeks. <laughs> Drinking white claw. Um, I, I learned, I, I saw, what if, geez, I know I've probably seen a lot of gross stuff in wrestling, but I don't know, I don't know, uh, does hygiene just generally get thrown out of the window oh, yeah. in a match? Okay. Yeah. Because PB Smooth, you know, PB Smooth's got that chapstick gimmick that mm -hmm. he does, right? Uh, he did it and threw it out and Dylan Musk picked it up and also used the chapstick. That's just gross. Sorry, <laughs> just sorry. Like, have you ever seen the Joey Ryan match? Okay, never, oh, okay, never mind, never mind, yeah. Uh, have you ever seen somebody pick up somebody's gum off the canvas and eat chew the gum? Oh, yeah, 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 I've, yeah I've that's seen a it. thing, that's a thing. I, I was there when Chavo Guerrero had a match with then Shima Zion, one walking wild now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it was way before he did that. Uh, he had a match with Chavo at a Night of Legends? No, it was the first night of the Superstars at Meadville, uh, and uh, uh, he definitely puked in the ring. Chavo did? Or? No, Shima did. Because Chavo worked him over so hard in the match that he, he puked. He was blown up. He was blown so, up. He so was, he was like he was wild? Whoa. Yeah, like he was he was and you know, Shima's always been in good shape, <laughs> you know. But uh he'd never been on the level of a fucking Guerrero That's awesome. at that point. And it was uh, it was interesting. And to the point where I think the next segment was Fig Foley coming out. And he pointed out, by the way, there's puke in this ring right now. <laughs> that is, it's like he's like, I've been in wrestling for how many years, and that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so, uh, it was an interesting night all around. Um, and I think my first McFoley experience. I think about it. I would uh, like to well, see that. That match? Yeah. Um, I think if you go to the IndieWrestling.us YouTube page, you can uh, find that plug. right now. Huh. Uh, there's a lot of stuff over there. That, I'm trying not to roll into another commercial, but yeah, we've posted a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of uh, RWA is now going up from around 2010 through 2013. Um, so just uh, you know, we're 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 going to be we're trying to do something special with uh, that YouTube channel as well. You know, so something special for you guys on YouTube, something special for you guys on the network and doing the VODs. So trying to kind of give yourself a you know, guys, a bunch of places to get your wrestling in different forms of wrestling and old wrestling and. You know, trying to do something different, you know, to get so people know who Thomas Mathis is and don't say the wrong one and <laughs> running starts and, uh, and, and, and everything. Uh, so with that, from the chat room, Brandon in the Kansas City learned that uh, wrestlers are going to start using their real names on social media and also uh, that certain restaurants will let you perform wrestling moves. I think if you listen to that video, oh, some of them thing. weren't letting them do that. Did you see this video? Oh, yeah. They were yelling at them when they were, they were doing stuff. <laughs> so basically, a group of like, guys... Ghetto are, wrestling is what they're Yeah, doing, we yeah. shared this on the Wrestling Mayhem Show group, so you can check that out. I think there's several videos, but this is like a montage of a bunch of them. Um, these guys are going and just performing wrestling moves in the middle of like fast food restaurants mm -hmm. and Walmart and stuff. I, I don't like that. I it's It's one of those like... I, mean, uh, I I don't like that. We, it, it's like superhuman. Like, it's gonna go poorly. What that that whoop whoop kid? Yeah, God, he's he's an idiot. Wait, the it, one with the Sean Phoenix shirt? Yeah, <laughs> superhuman. Yeah, it, okay. It's going to go poorly at some point, especially when you have these idiots. Like I saw them doing tombstones onto tile floors. I'm like, yeah, that was bad. One day. That's going to end not great. Oh yeah. And you know listen, what? Uh, listen, we we we've grown up in the YouTube world of ball shots, so I I, I put it in that category. Ball shots are different than and superhuman and backyard wrestling videos. I mean, sure, we've seen worse. Groin. Football on the groin is football on the groin. I'm talking about collapsing someone's neck. This is true too. As a believer in safety. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, Foreman, <laughs> Ronnie Starks. As a as a believer in safety, uh, superhuman <laughs> kid, your whole gimmick is a violation. <laughs> uh, I swear, I fear for your life every time you do something fucking dumb. Mm -hmm. uh, these kids doing these moves at the fast food restaurants. 
That's woo, just woo. stupid. It's another generation of the backyard wrestling thing, right? I miss I mean, regular backyard. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Well, was, they, <laughs> oops. So I those mean, no there, backyard wrestling. There's a legit one of our one of our friends just talked about how like the the weather chain makes his joints hurt, and I was like, it must have been that backyard wrestling we did back in the day. Oh so, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, you guys are doing the right way and getting fucked up. You can imagine what we were doing on grass. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's uh, my left knee is a testament of how dumb I was. When I <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, uh, Mathis. You were you were about to say something. No, I was just uh, thinking about. I know what video you're talking about. Those yeah, guys, the yeah. pile drivers in yeah. Walmart or something. Yeah, they're yarders uh, for the most part. Well, yeah, they're they're, they're fast fooders. Uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> it looked like they had restauranters. That we need a new term for this. I think we're making it up I mean, now. I mean, otherwise, this is. I mean, this is an exhibitionist stunt thing. Yeah, I saw them apply like one of the techniques, and I thought like maybe they had to have been trained at least. I a wondered that bit. too because it looked pretty crisp. Yeah, right. I don't. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's, let's give okay. them more credit. Than the they trained, deserve. the trained wrestlers. When you saw this, did you did they look like people that had been trained, or at least a moda, a little bit? I don't know if it was deliberate, but I saw an Iggy. And it, it, I say Iggy like he came in and it looked like it, a good smooth Iggy. They they were on the same page. I feel like, but we, I only we need saw a it briefly for this one. I want to pull it up. This like. Yeah. Just just just, uh, just 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 Google Iggy. <laughs> don't don't quote me on that. I only I only <laughs> oh, you you've been quoted. <laughs> oh, we're on the internet. You're st- it, you're stuck with I, it. I it's in the books now, it. there, kid. Yeah, <laughs> it's on your Wikipedia page. I already put it there five seconds ago. <laughs> Telepathically, you're fucked. <laughs> People need to be careful. Yes, in the long run, please be careful out there. We yeah. do not approve of this. Well, we may be slightly entertained by it. Um, <laughs> Matt Carlin's learned that wrestlers care a great deal about White Claw. I need to see these tweets. All I know about White Claw is that Carlin's is concerned about how much people are talking about White Claw. Like, that's literally all I know about it. I need to try it. I need <laughs> to try Apparently. Next, okay, next Tuesday, I'm bringing White Claw for us, and we're trying it on air. Is that? Oh, okay. Uh, we, okay. okay. I mean, this, so, is, this is wrestling related. Yeah. Hey, you know. You, you ready? Now, I'll bring now, Ronnie, Ronnie, do you know the lore? No, there's a lore. There's a lore. I thought it was just alcohol. Sorg, <laughs> we have Sorg. We have lore of trying things on air. Are we allowed to do that in this state? Oh, that, Mama, that, oh, Mama, that part. Yeah, Mama, Mama Juana. Mama Juana. Are we allowed? Oh to do yeah, that? we got JBL's Mama Juana when he was selling that. It was like a some kind of enhancement drink of some sort, mm-hmm. and we drank it on the air. I think did we try to call the the number for it? I think so. And we, we were, used to try different. Um, we tried energy L- drinks. LB, LB used to try different energy drinks. Yeah. Uh, one time he he chugged an entire can of cocaine. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Uh, Google it. Uh, D- uh, Lunchbox tries can of cocaine is on <laughs> Twitter, and I hope that pulls great. up the video uh, <laughs> or something else. Respect the lore. New sponsor. Hashtag new sponsor. Hashtag either way, you're getting a screenshot from something. I pull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either way. Either way. What's this about? Oh, that's not our show, but that's hilarious too. <laughs> um, so. Okay, so Sorg, I googled Lunchbox and cocaine. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first thing that came up was. A bungling dad gave his toddler a lunch backpack with cocaine and knives in the UK. Nothing nothing says uh, father and son uh, bonding like a cocaine and knives. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's, that, that seems to be the uh, prevailing. All right. So- I wasn't good about tags on the videos back then, okay? <laughs> this, was like, like, this was like 12 years ago, okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, it might not have even been on YouTube at, at the time. It might have been on like Google Video. So we're oh, 100% what? trying White Claw next week. Yeah, Tuesday. yeah, we're trying White Claw next week. Um, I, I have some here, so I will also have Is White Lawless Claw. on Excellent. next week? Is that Maybe that's an appropriate uh, guest for that one. So. Who is Lawless? Uh, oh, La- okay. Lawless is scheduled in the next couple of weeks. He can so render right? a verdict. Oh, he can. That's Ooh. a good idea. I like that. I like Say. that. This is why See, you make probably, the big bucks, buddy. Probably, this, is, this is what you have to aspire to at some point. I just did that. I made that connection. There you go. We actually don't have a guest next week, so we'll have to, we'll have to change oh. that. Um, okay. So, uh, also, Dave Ponder learned that a pregnant wrestler is the most powerful person. <laughs> All hail the new twenty four seven champ in the OBGYN. I, I really hope they just retire that title for six months. Nope, it's gonna God, be no. Just gonna hold what on if, to it until the baby becomes the next. Champ. No, what if somebody goes a pinner and she has an abortion? 
Well, we did have a Gene Snitsky theory last night. Uh, somebody's going to punt the baby? Yeah, uh, maybe. maybe. It's not my fault. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paul Hammond's in charge now, boys and girls. Something weird's oh, going to happen there's soon. There's a theory that she's not really pregnant. I don't think she is. She's not even showing. She's been, what, like oh, 12 she, weeks? She's she showing a little bit. Mm. I mean, she just like kind of like let her gut out a little bit. Mm. You could force it. Thomas Mathis, you are going to be at Black Diamond Wrestling this Sunday. That's right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, <wow. It's> like, <laughs> girl, that's right. <laughs> Wrestling. <laughs> You see Colossus from the X Men stand up arcade game? Yeah, yeah, which you can play at Replay <laughs> FX. I'll be hanging out over there over at the music stage Saturday and uh, or Friday and Saturday night uh, as well. Uh, but, Mathis, you're going to be at uh, Black Diamond Wrestling, is going to be bell time 5 p.m., I do believe, this Sunday uh, in Benwood, West Virginia. Go check out information over at the Black Diamond Universe Facebook page. Uh, that's Sunday, August 4th, and you're having your last man standing match with the Beast Man. That's right. It's going to be a great battle. Uh, willing to go far for it. Uh, and considering that, I, I think it's going to be something you guys would want to see. So don't miss it. Go check it out. And of course, Ronnie Starks, you're all over the social. Oh, wait, wait. Mathis, where are you on social media? Uh, so I stepped up my social media game a little bit. Good. Lots of ads, right? <laughs> Yeah, still growing though. Um, I got a Twitter account now. Um, it's Tommy Absolute, and uh, still got the Instagram. Um, got my uh, my worker page, uh, Thomas Mathis. Um, otherwise, you know, I'm uh, gonna have to make an athlete's page, uh, but I need some new pictures first. Yeah. So Are you looking for a photographer? Is that what's up? Well, one thing at a time. You one know. thing at a time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm missing out what what we learned. Uh, what's I don't see it in the chat. It's on oh, it's on oh, Twitter. Boy. Uh, I have it. I have it. Okay. Ed, Ed Burke learned that WWE has clearly. Oh, no, hold on. Let Mad Mike finish. Oh no, I was literally about to say the same thing. I know, but nobody else can hear her. Okay. Did, he, did Ed, she just say no good guys on the market? Ed, Ed, Ed Burke learned that WWE clearly has no gay guys on their marketing huh. team. Jeez, what is that from? Um, just a picture of the revival shirt, which I thought actually looked kind of cool. What does it say? Top revival. guys doing top guy things. Top guys doing top guy things. So that's been their thing for a while. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I kind of like the shirt, to be honest. Huh. So, yeah. So that's where I got bad guys doing bad things or good guys doing good things. <laughs> <laughs> Crap! I ripped that off of the revival. <laughs> I knew I didn't come up on it on my own. Ronnie Starks is a member of the Good Guys and MT OSHA. Sorry, Noctis. We can't use that on shirts now. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you'll you be around. You're uh, on social media. Well, I'm not booked on Sunday, Terry. Well, you'll have White Claw, so you'll be there anyways. <laughs> you <should have> White <laughs> Claw. Sit in the crowd. You assholes didn't book me if I got the White Claw. No, you should. That'd be funny. Just like, if I'm off on Sunday, I will. No laws when you're drinking claws. No, there ain't no laws. I'll do whatever I want. It's my house. Where can people find you online? Uh, You can follow me on the Twitter at at Starks Wrestling. You can follow me on Instagram at the Ronnie Starks. Uh, I have a Facebook page. Just look me up. I'm holding that stupid fucking gimmick belt. I mean, the belt I won a couple (laughs) weeks ago. Jeez. Sorry. (laughs) Man. I shouldn't have said that. No, that that was on the internet now. Well, you know. That's okay. I'm full absolute. It's okay. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, no, yeah. You can find me all over the place. There you go. Wrestling. Madmake43 on the Twitter. Go watch Rookie of the Year. There you go. And I'm Sorgatron on the Twitter. Thank you, producer Missy and Apprentice Mike is hanging out as well in the back. Learning something. Missy. Mostly about White Claw and abs, I think. But uh, <laughs> And, of course, thank you, everybody in the chat room hanging out with us all night along here. You guys can do so, too, at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time on Facebook Live every Tuesday, more or less, unless, uh, unless we're preempted for the dog show. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.